here we have the um, ViewSonic VA192WB. It's a 19 inch uh, computer monitor. I acquired this and uh, I turned it on and it, well, the screen flashed. So we're going to take it apart and see what's going on with it. Maybe, if we're lucky, the capacitors are bad. If not, well, didn't cost me anything. So, uh, spin it around here. And let's see if we can find the screws. Now, from what I see, Got one, two, three, four screws. Got to take off there. I don't see any screws on the case. So that means it's probably um, clipped on, press fit on, plastic bezel. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't see anything. Like I said, this monitor is bad. I turned it on. The power light goes on. You know, lights up green. But the screen flashes for like one second and uh, it shuts off. So it's possible the capacitors are bad. It's possible that the, uh, you know, whatever <laughs> is bad. Yeah, I got this today. And it's a bad monitor. It does not work. But we're going to try to fix it. Once again, it's a VA192-1912 WB ViewSonic. It's an older monitor. It doesn't have HDMI. It has uh, DVI and VGA. I think those are speakers. If I can get it working, it'll be a decent monitor, you know. We just gotta crack into it somehow. I've never worked on a ViewSonic before. Shouldn't be any different than any other monitor, though. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let me crack into this case somehow, if I can figure it out. And I'll come back, and we'll check out the board and see if the capacitors are bad. If they're not bad, well, I'm not going to mess with this monitor, because like I said, it was free. Uh, someone dropped it off here, didn't want it. And, uh, you know, doesn't won't cost me anything. To throw it away and it won't cost me anything to uh, peek inside so we'll check it out and see what's going on all right I'll get back to you in a second just a quick update um, you take off the stand there's two screws there screw holes one there one there so that's how far I've gotten so I'll be back in a minute just another update on this VSonic VA1912WB monitor. If you want to get this case off, this plastic enclosure off, you must pry around the edge. And I'm sure they have a special tool just for this from, you know, if you're a ViewSonic technician, but uh, I used a kitchen knife. And uh, you have to pry, pry around with a knife or a, a screwdriver. And you will make marks on the case. If you are a cosmetic fanatic, you're shit out of luck. You're going to make marks. If you want a functional monitor, and you don't care about marks, then by, by all means go ahead and pry away. 
but you must pry around the case. All the way around. And it'll pop off. There's no screws holding it on. So anyways, let me dig into this monitor and see what's going on electronically. We'll find out what the major problem is. Alright, get back to you. Okay, another update here on this ViewSonic monitor. <clears throat> this section right here, this little enclosure, this is your power supply and your inverter board and all the, you know, the good shit. If you want to get this off, you have to take the screw out here, the screw out here, and where the, uh, the output, you know, video outputs are. There's the screws here where your cables screw onto. You have to remove those here. One, two, three, four. And then you have um, your inverter cables. <clears throat> you have to unplug plug them here. I used a knife and I just kind of grabbed the edge and I kind of just twisted it out. You gotta find the edge on there and just kind of pull it out real gently. Or if you have some like you know like tweezers or something, you can pull them out. Just make sure you keep track of which way the wires go. I just scratched like P and blue or P and B, P B on the on the case. Or you can write it with a marker or something or a piece of paper. Okay, there's two there. And then there's two at the top. You have to unplug them. The same way, you just take a knife or tweezers or pliers or whatever. If you can get them in there, it's kind of a tight fit. Pull them out. And like I said, where the power plug goes for your, you know, for the power, there's a screw there, screw there. Take that out. And then those two, uh, well, four actually, four little screws. Take some pliers, you know. Twist them out carefully. Don't don't yank on them. Counterclockwise, you know, take them out. This will lift off. And here's the power supply. Yeah. This board here is the inverter. This is what does all the video. <clears throat> but uh, this is the power supply, and I took it apart. And from what I can tell. There are three capacitors that are bad on this board. They have the classic swollen dome. And hopefully I have some in stock so I can repair these. You know, this is so exciting right now. My dog is actually sleeping. You can hear it snoring. Anyways, I'm going to go look and see if I have some capacitors for this. And if I do, I'm going to take this board out, which it's very easy to do. You have a screw here and a screw there and a screw there and a screw there. Four screws. The board will lift out. And then I can go uh, desolder the capacitors, and uh, yeah, maybe it'll it'll work. So let me stop here and let me go see what I have, and that'll be it. I'll fix it and put it back together and see if it'll fire up. All right. To conclude this video, I have uh, repaired the monitor. Start it up here. One second. Capacitors were bad. I did replace them and uh, it's working. So, if you're a ViewSonic um, 
VA1912WB is uh, not working. Let's say you uh, turn it on and it like makes a funny sound or like a, a screen flash. Uh, it's very, there's a very high probability that your capacitors are bad in the monitor. Um, like I said earlier, this monitor was given to me for free. And uh, they had a, a sticky note on it that said, uh, bad. <clears throat> yeah, it was bad. But I fixed it. And you can fix it too. In fact, the parts cost me... I went to Radio Shack. I normally order from uh, Mauser Electronics, which I could get the parts for probably like 15 cents a piece, but I wasn't going to wait a week or half a week for the parts to arrive in the mail. So I, was, I just went up to the lo um, local Radio Shack store and uh, bought two capacitors for a dollar forty nine each so three bucks in tax I had the parts I needed and uh, put them in there and that was that it works I'm gonna use it <laughs> so once again if your monitor is bad Regardless of brand, if it's a ViewSonic or a Logitech, uh, a Samsung or you know Acer or whatever brand it is, you know this applies to televisions too. If your television shuts off, it starts to flicker like white or you know like white flashes on the screen, and then powers off. There's a very good chance that the capacitors inside the power supply have gone bad, and they do go bad because you know if you leave your monitor on all the time or your television on all the time you know that heat goes through that capacitor that electricity and it's almost like a battery in a way over time the the chemicals inside you know the compounds break down they decay and they just can't uh, you know filter the uh, electricity regulate it and uh, it uh, yeah, crap shits the bed <laughs> So, like I said, simple fix. Uh, probably took me, well, I, I, did, I had to do some running around for the parts and stuff, but if you know, if you, from start to finish, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to solder and desolder, you could have this done in probably 20, 25 minutes. You know, it's not a major thing. The hardest part is taking apart the case. That's the hardest part. Once you get that done, you're, you're, you know, it's on easy street, so. Yep. Oh, hopefully this helped you out a little bit. <clears throat> Not that I really showed you anything, but, uh, you know, you have nothing to lose when it comes to monitors and televisions. If it's already broke, you know, take it apart. You can't hurt it any worse. You're either going to throw it in the garbage Take it to a repair man. It's going to cost you hundreds of dollars if you do that. Or you can fix, you know, take it apart yourself and uh, try to fix it. You know, a couple dollars, a couple pounds, a couple euros, whatever you, you know, your currency is. Won't cost you much. And uh, worst comes to worst, you can't fix it. You know, it's still broken. You, you know, you could always take it to somebody else. But I probably guarantee you that uh, you know if you see those capacitors that are swelled up on top like a dome shape you're uh, that's your problem that's your problem unless of course you see like burnt parts and stuff and transformers and coils and transistors and diodes that are blown then you might get into some kind of problems but Nine times out of ten, it's the capacitors in the monitor and, uh, you know, simple fix. So try it. Don't be scared. Doesn't cost a fortune. So, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.